Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. I always say good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. Try to. Let's let's talk about today's video. An after action report, if you will. Shoot, excuse my hand, I'm holding the camera. Um, wow. So I did the video specifically to, to shock and awe, to bring attention to what has actually been happening that I think those of us in the in the gun community uh, aren't taking as serious as possible. So I brought out the bad things that Donald Trump has done rel relating to the Second Amendment. And the, the, the response has been eye-opening. Been eye-opening. I uh, got a lot of people saying, yes, you know, what you said is, is valid. Got a lot of people who outright hate is amazing. Um, that's not why I'm here, but I thought I would mention that the basis of this channel has always been, for the law part, was to call out those who are doing things to go against or to threaten our Second Amendment. It seems like most people are cool when I'm calling out a Democrat. But when I call out Donald Trump today, people went crazy. Not all of you, but there were a good part that I didn't expect to see some of the some of the fervor that uh, came out. Um, you know, I got a lot of emails that were less than professional. Uh, people pulled support from Patreon. Uh, people, a lot of people have unsubscribed because of the video. And I get it, you know, I'm not here to, to beg and plead or to change your mind. I respect your, your opinion. But what I do want you to know is that even though he is a Republican or even though you like him, and let's just take it away from the president, uh, any politician, from local selectmen all the way up to the president's office, if you, if you like them and you support them, that's fine. But when they do something wrong, they need to be called out. They need to be, they need to be, they need to have their integrity checked. And that's what today's video was for. I think I did it. I think everything that I put out there has happened. I know it has. And I hope that you can see why I did that. Or why I did the video the way I did. All right, hey, you know, if you hate the channel, you hate the channel. My apologies. I'm still going to go out there and do what I've been doing and uh, call out those who are infringing and, and shed the light. You know, sometimes it's going to be the president. Did I say that we need to impeach him today? Nope. Do I think that he has a, a large amount of policies that are working terrifically? Yep. But if I'm a Second Amendment person, which I am, eh, he's not been a friend of the Second Amendment. So I called him out on it. You know, he's not my binky. Uh, I don't live and die with Donald Trump. Was he the best choice? Is he the best choice right now? Probably, yeah. You know, Hillary would have been much worse. We all know that. Guys, gals, you know, take a breath. Realize what I did. He did institute the red flag. He did push for it. He even got the NRA's Chris Cox to push for it. Now the states are doing it. Do you like the red, fl red flag? Do you think it's, it's something that we should be uh, happy with? No. Most of us don't. And that's what I'm doing. I'm calling out things that the president has been okay with, and as a result of that, our infringements have uh, been a little more rampant. So I thought I'd just come out here and say, look, that's why I did it. Hope you can understand that. If you choose to leave the channel, I get it. Uh, if you want, if you think I'm going to sit here and beg for you to change your mind, I'm not. You know, I, I respect your opinion, but know that what my video today was true to the, to the channel. Trump did stuff that he shouldn't have done, called him out for it. Hope you can uh, appreciate my integrity in doing that. With that said, I hope you all have a great evening. Go Bruins. I'm going to go watch the game before I have to go to work. Be safe. Stay vigilant. Carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.